Thank you, Tristan. Uh, and uh, welcome, everybody. It's great to see all of you here today. Uh, I know that um, uh, Steve Aleko uh, uh, was introducing uh, many of the elected officials, uh, but I, I don't know if you, you missed, uh, if I didn't catch it, if you introduced the most important, which are the uh, committee precinct uh, leaders. Uh, all those here, whether in Lakewood or serving as a committee precinct leader somewhere else in the county, raise your hand. Thank you so much for your service. It's a real pleasure being here today, with, uh, particularly with my colleague, uh, uh, State Senator Nikki Antonio. Uh, it's been a real pleasure serving uh, this community uh, in the state legislature now for uh, uh, 16 years. I also uh, had the opportunity to serve on Lakewood City Council uh, for five years. And uh, when I left uh, City Council, uh, there has been a lot of changes in this community. Uh, particularly with uh, the philosophy on how government uh, uh, should be delivered. And I have been deeply concerned about those changes uh, in that philosophy. When I was on city council, we, have a, we had a strong commitment to human services. We had a strong commitment to senior services. We had a strong commitment to, to youth services. And we have gotten away in this community uh, from uh, those commitments uh, to those services. There has been large cutbacks in those areas while there's been uh, a lot of emphasis on brick and mortar. It's not the brick and mortar that keeps the people here. It is uh, actually uh, improving the life of, uh, of our citizens and making sure that they are, 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 are uh, strong, uh, contributing citizens of our community. And uh, uh, Laura is committed to bringing back and, and working on ways how we can re restore uh, so, some of those valuable assets. Uh, the senior citizens in our community has always been a strong uh, component. Uh, uh, there have been uh, uh, leaders here in the community that have not put the emphasis on the senior citizens, but have said uh, we need uh, not to provide the services there, but we need to see what we can do about bringing in uh, uh, younger folks, which is a, a positive thing, but they're, they're tur totally turning their backs on those uh, that have made this community strong for many years. We need to focus uh, in this community on not just uh, 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 housing uh, for uh, the very wealthy and the very young. We need to uh, ensure that we have housing, uh, mixed housing uh, options uh, for all folks here in our community. That's what makes us strong. Uh, make sure that we are diversified uh, economically uh, in housing um, in, in our people. Uh, that's how we, we make a strong Lakewood. That's the way Lakewood always has been. Lakewood was the melting pot. Uh, many uh, uh, many uh, communities, when they immigrated from Europe, one of the first stops was here in Lakewood. Uh, and, and they started to raise their families here. Uh, we need to ensure uh, that Lakewood uh, uh, gets back to welcoming people uh, in this community uh, from all aspects. And, and Laura, I know, is committed uh, to doing that. Uh, Laura, uh, Steve had gone through, I was gonna uh, touch base, and, and go through some of the strengths that Laura had, and Steve and uh, Tristan and others have talked about those strengths already. But I also want to just real quick uh, focus that, uh, you know, uh, Laura is, is a graduate of, uh, of Max S. Hayes uh, High School. Uh, she uh, attended Cleveland State University, and uh, she uh, sought uh, a public administration's degree from uh, one of the uh, strongest programs in the United States in public administration from the University of Nebraska. And uh, with that strength, she'll be bringing that uh, forward here in Lakewood and, and uh, bringing something to Lakewood City Council that, that is, is so important. Uh, Laura is committed uh, to ensure uh, that uh, uh, this, we will stop uh, continuing the privatization of city services here in this community. That's something we fought back on uh, when I was a city council member, and since then we've actually privatized more and more services uh, here in this community. Uh, we know best that uh, our services in, in this community uh, is strongest when uh, our residents, our, our employees are the ones delivering those services and bringing forward. Uh, in the last couple of years, we've lost nearly 2,000 good paying jobs in this community from loss of employers. Uh, Laura is committed, instead of chasing those jobs away from this community, and bringing uh, strong paying jobs in this community. Because we cannot survive as a community just on uh, uh, 
uh, housing and property taxes and uh, being a bedroom community. We need to make sure that we, we build our, our strength in our downtown area and bring strong employers. We used to have New York Life here, uh, and New York Life had concentrated uh, its, its uh, uh, folks from Atlanta to here at Lakewood, but now they're gone. We need to uh, try to attract uh, employers like that uh, where they're strong, uh, paying jobs, executive jobs, and, and making sure our, our uh, community is not just funded on the burden of, of uh, uh, homeowners, uh, but uh, uh, is uh, funded uh, through a broad range of taxes, and Laura is committed to that. Uh, I am uh, extremely excited, extremely excited uh, to uh, lend my support to Laura uh, Rodriguez Carbone uh, for uh, Lakewood City Council Ward 1. I am a resident of Ward 1. It is important to me. I am a resident of this community. Uh, I know that Laura will ensure that there is uh, transparency and openness in city government. And that's why I'm supporting Laura. And I'm, I'm real excited about that. With that, I'd like to bring up uh, Laura Rodriguez Carbone, <laughs> chairman of Lakewood City Council Ward 1.